So here we've got an email from somebody internally who is basically looking to have um, a, an update made to a specific view within D365. So this is basically a task for me to complete. There's something that I have to do. So that's right. Mark wants me to basically put in an, an emoticon or an emoji um, into a specific view, and that's for one of the accounts views. So I don't want to forget about it. So I could, if I wanted to, go ahead and I could do a flag, a follow up flag. Or if you're using tasks, I can go ahead and let's say I want this, um, what he's asking for, and I can go ahead and create a task. So if I do new task, and uh, Mark wants some changes made. Okay, so then I can go ahead and put in, okay, well, I think I might be able to get to it on Wednesday. So I'm going to set it for Wednesday. Um, and that that's really all I need to put in. That'll be my reminder. So now what you can see is that we've also got the track and I can track this against a task or as a phone call. I don't know anyone that's using letter or faxes, so you can probably ignore those. But you can see there, if I hover my mouse, this is basically going to create a new task in D365 that's going to be linked to this task. So the way in which that might help people is that if that task is then um, accessible for other people, they can see what's going on. And actually, if you kind of share a workload, someone else might say, oh, well, Megan's out sick today or Megan's on holiday for the next um, week. So let me look through her tasks and maybe there's some of those that I could actually complete myself. So I'm going to go ahead and say I want to track this as a task. So again, that's going to create a task record in D365 for this. I'll be able to come into Outlook and complete it from without in Outlook, or I can also go ahead and I can complete that within um, D365 as well. So I'm going to go ahead and save and close that. Okay, so now I can see there's the task, and you'll notice there's that familiar um, little um, person icon or two people icons and that is basically saying that it's been tracked um, and it's actually going to go ahead and create that task in D365. Okay, um, we've then got some of those um, options that we saw before where I could convert something into an opportunity or a case um, and I can also view that in D365 as well if I want to jump into it from there. Typically I would suggest that you're using some kind of dashboard or some kind of view in D365 that is basically either your tasks for today, your upcoming tasks for the week, whatever that might be. So you can see now here's the task that I created. So can I arrange for this to be updated? Absolutely. Let's say that I found a little bit of time earlier on. So I'm going to actually go ahead and just say, right, I'm marking that as complete. I've done I've done the task. OK, so that will then uh, eventually end up being updated in here. So we know that that's actually being completed. So that's an easy way to go ahead and create a task within Outlook and go ahead and track that against um, D365 so that then that information will be pushed over into D365. Others will be able to see your tasks, view that information, um, potentially complete tasks for you, that kind of thing.